Today I'm going to talk about Warden by Montana Ash. It's book one in the Elemental Paladin series. Uh, first I just want to say, you know how like with indie authors you'll come across one that you really like and then you're, you just you wonder why. Why is this person not more popular? I have found that that's how I feel about Montana Ash. Um, I've read all three of the books now, all three of the ones that have been released and I enjoyed them all. But I'm going to talk about Warden first. Uh, it's told in third person, set in Australia. Basically, it's about Max. She wakes up one day, 16-year-old body. She has no idea who she is, no idea of her past, nothing. It's almost like she was just, she just was one day. So she's running from place to place because she's got these beings after her, which she calls phantoms. Basically, what they do is they try to suck the life right out of her just kind of creepy uh, so you'd run from them too so she's gone all over the world right and she ends up back in Australia and she is in this little dive bar nothing special about it just some little bar and she meets three guys um, they can sense exactly what she is they know exactly what she is and they basically they wonder why she's all alone um, so they convince her somehow to come back to their to where they live there she meets Riker, and basically her life changes forever. So I do want to talk really quick about the points that I liked about the story. Um, I liked that that Montana Ash could have taken the entire story in a much more serious direction, and she chose not to. Uh, I also like that uh, Max is kind of a goofball. The whole story is really funny. Like, there's a lot of really funny points in the story. Riker, though, is a bit of a jerk. Like, I understand why, but sometimes I felt he took it a little bit ex to the extreme a little bit. I also like the dynamic between Max and the rest of the characters, because they've got kind of a big house. It's basically this band of mit misfits that are just kind of, like, all been brought together by Riker. And I liked the dynamic between all of the characters. I believe it's classified as fantasy. Um, I think it might have touches of, of paranormal in there, just a little bit. It's got magic and, you know, earth and beasts and all things like that. So um, all in all, I liked the story. I thought it was fun. It was There was a lot of laugh out loud moments for me. And I'm definitely going to review the next books in the series. And hopefully when you guys see this video, you get it yourself. I'm going to put the links underneath here. And if you do get it, I hope you enjoy it because I really did. Thanks for watching.